YouTube, it's your boy Alvin MB10, aka AMR10, and what I got for you today is some more NBA 2K22 Next Gen. More specifically, as you can tell by the title, the thumbnail, and what's on the screen for you today, what I have for you today is a Gilbert Arenas build within NBA 2K22 Next Gen. And as the title says, this is one of the rarest builds you will find in this game, because personally, I have not seen anyone run this build on this game, and yes, I know I didn't play 2K22 that much this year, but when I was playing, I never saw this build come up. But when you see what it is, it's low-key nice. So trust me, check the full video out. I do gotta say shout out to Samuel because he is the one who asked for this build and then ironically plugged me with this build and how to make it. So I gotta say shout out to him because he knows a lot and yeah. And then I also gotta say, if you like today's video, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to drop a comment, tell me what you think of the build. Also, share the video and if you're new to the channel and you ain't done so yet, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as turning post notices on. More likely than not, just watch the whole video through even if you wanna mute the sound because it helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting these videos out there. Now, as I said, this is a Gilbert Arenas build and as most of you know, he was the point guard right-handed. Jersey number zero was what he was most infamous for because everybody knew him as Agent Zero. Uh, height wise he did come in at about 6 foot 4 weight wise we brought him at about 192 pounds and then we kept the wingspan at 6 foot 7 because again this allows you the flexibility of being able to get elite contact dunks if you want to hall of fame clamps hall of fame interceptor and pickpocket amongst many other badges if you personally want to but that's not what we're aiming for with this build but yeah body shape wise again you can pick whatever you want i'd most likely go something along the he wasn't slight i'll go with compact because gil had a little bit of weight to him but he wasn't muscular as hell now before I fully get into the breakdown of this build, I'd like to remind you, through watching all the No Chill Gil episodes you can, or watching him generally play, the one thing about Gilbert Arenas that really was, the man was a bucket. So because of that, that's the main thing we're aiming to hit with this build right here. We're trying to make sure it's a bucket. So starting off firstly with the driving layup, we decided to go with an 85 as well as going with an 85 on the driving dunk. And then when it came to the close shot, we went with a 65. The main reason for this being, we wanted to give you a build where you have the ability to get decent layups alongside with pro contact dunks and then if you really wanted to you could move the vertical up to an 85 because we decided to put it at a 75 but yeah you can move it up to an 85 and that would allow you the ability of getting small contact dunks as well but right now the way it is you can finish at the cup either way through finishing through contact with layups or you could really get off a pro contact dunk and slam it on somebody plus with a 65 close shot you are a point guard you won't be finding yourself under the basket too much but that should allow you to really score when you find yourself under there now that's all we did finishing wise which means that in total we finished with 20 finishing badges key thing here being you get hall of fame pro touch teardropper as well as gold unstrippable unstrippable limitless takeoff slithery finisher and then of course silver mouse in the house giant slayer posterizer fearless finisher and acrobat amongst many other badges now i'm gonna get to shooting and playmaking last just because those are the two where this build really just hits the spot first thing we did on defense was we decided to go with a 77 on the perimeter defense because it does allow us to get silver clamps ankle braces menace defensive leader pick dodger tireless defender as well as hall of fame off ball pest and tight and hustler with a bronze interceptor but we decided to go to 77 on steel it'll make a lot more sense once we finally get to the name of the build as well as a 78 on the sorry 78 on the steel and the 77 on the perimeter defense and then when it came to the block we maxed it out at a 64. now obviously had we put his weight up a little bit he might have been able to get that 65 block which is what you need in order to get bronze intimidate silver intimidator so personally speaking you might want to adjust the weight a little and move it up a pound for your own sake but that's up to you and then when it came to defense, that's all we did. As you can see, you aren't the greatest defender on the floor, but you're decent enough that with the height, weight, and what we do with the speed and excel, putting them at an 88 each, you will be able to keep up with most guards and be able to clamp them up slightly, but you will also need some help when it really does come down to it. Now, obviously, this does allow you to finish with 14 defensive back points. Key thing here I'd focus on is upgrade your clamps, upgrade your interceptor, and maybe upgrade your hustler. Pickpocket, I wouldn't worry too much because you're not reaching like that. And then put a little bit on Intimidator because you do need that in this game. Now, to round out the physicals because we keep dipping into them, we decided to go with a 90 when it came to the stamina because again, this is a point guard build and you do need it at a high amount. Now, personally speaking, I don't put mine at a 99 mainly because if you need your stamina at a 99, I'm not gonna lie to you. You might wanna ease off the R2 button because you're playing a bit crazy, but yeah. Playmaking, as you can guess, you got to go with an 87 when it comes to the ball handle because it allows you to get gold un unpluckable. And then when it came to the speed with ball, we decided to go with an 87. 
just because we wanted like you need like an 81 in order to be able to get gold quick first step but then the truth of it is if you are oh, an 80 sorry to get gold quick first step but if you really want to really put a boost to it you just got to get it as close to your speed and excel as you want because mostly you know as i like to say i like to keep my speed with ball excel and speed about the same just so that i never feel different when the player does does or doesn't have the ball in their hands and then with pass accuracy as this is a gilbert arenas build we went with a 75 because we wanted to get silver bullet pass and bailout because the truth of it is Gil wasn't kicking the ball with, nah, he was kicking the ball, but you know what I'm saying, the man calls himself a bucket for a reason, because if you gave it to him, he's aiming to score over passing the ball, which is why shooting wise, we decided to max out his three ball at a 91, as well as giving him an 81 on the mid-range jump shot. Now I do know a bunch of you will say the mid-range jump shot's a bit low, but that's also because of the name that this build gets, which is why we gotta keep it at this. Yes, I know someone's gonna slander me in the comments about why not, but hey, I'm sorry. And then when it came to the free throw, we decided to go with an 80. Now, as you can see that it does allow us to finish with 30 total finishing but shooting badge points. Only thing here that's kind of E is the fact that we only finish with silver difficult shots. But in my personal opinion, silver and above in difficult shots seems to be money either way. So running it at silver ain't too bad. We do get gold blinders, catch and shoot, rhythm shooter, green machine, hot zone hunters, limitless spot up, stop and pop, dead eye, and mismatch expert. As well as Hall of Fame corner specialist, circus threes, fade ace, slippery off ball, and lucky number seven as well as sniper. Now, yes, I did miss out a few badges, but I was just naming the ones that personally mattered to me. Now, again, this allows us to finish with 20 finishing, 30 shooting, 27 playmaking, and 14 defensive badge points, giving us a grand total of 41, 71, 91 total badge points on this build. And if you have managed to grind out NBA 2K22 this entire year, finish all nine seasons, as well as manage to rebirth your builds, that gives you a grand total of 104 total badge points on this here Gilbert Arenas build. Now, before I quickly select the takeovers, I gotta ask, who knows what name this build's gonna get in the shades of? If you do know, do me a favor, go ahead and drop it down below in the comments real quick, just so I know who could actually guess this real quick. Don't cheat, that's all I'm gonna say. Don't cheat, but yeah. Now, takeovers. Very first one you gotta go with, I'd personally go with Negative Impact, cause again, this is a Gilbert Arenas build, and the truth of it is, when he had it going, yeah, yeah, you were stopping Gil from doing what he wanted to do. Next one I'd probably go with is something maybe like Easy Blow Buys, but yeah, I gotta, the boy could shoot, so I gotta give him, I'm not gonna, like, let's say it this way, Limitless Range back in the early 2000s of the NBA wasn't exactly like shooting it from half court, but it was, you could knock that thing down from deep, so I decided to give him Limitless Range to go along with Negative Impact, because again, as I said, he was a walking bucket. Now what 2K says we've happened to build here happens to be a deep range shot creator the likes of Mahmoud abdul Rauf, Damian Lillard, and John Wall. See, this is the thing that confuses me in the shades of, because I understand the first two, but why the hell is John Wall coming up in deep range shot creator? And that's not me slandering him, as most of you know he is one of my favorite players in the league. It's just a thing of 2K really needs to fix this, because that's a fraud. If anything, John Wall's a mid-range shot creator with the ability to shoot a three, but not at a decent clip where we can say deep range shot creator. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, which if you did, don't forget to do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel and you ain't done so yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're currently on the road to 1,100 subs, and we are only like nine away. So who knows, you might be that 1,100 sub, but yeah, and don't forget, drop a comment because it helps with the YouTube algorithm and share the video if you can. But yeah, it's been your boy Alvin MB10, aka AMR10. I'll see you on the next build. Trust me, you're going to want to fight Samuel for what he sent me. I'll catch you in a bit. Deuces.